Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Today we are going to study the topic mulching. So let's proceed. What is mulching? Mulching is related to mulch where the mulch is a layer of material applied to the surface of soil for covering of soil. And mulching is the process of covering the soil to create favorable conditions for plant growth development and to increase crop yield and soil conservation practices. In a general, mulching means covering the soil surface by extra leaves, grasses or inorganic matter. Mulches of different kinds check soil erosion, increase soil fertility and also minimize moisture evaporation from the top soils. So one side it is conserving the moisture, another side playing important role in soil conservation and creating favorable conditions for plant growth. The term mulch was introduced by Wegener in 1960 and it is derived from the German word molz which means soft to decay means easy decomposition. In other way Mulch has been referred to the gardener's use of astra and leaves as a soil cover as per Jax et al. in 1995. It means mulch refers to the crop residue, straws, shredded leaves to cover the soil for purpose of soil conservation, soil moisture preservation and control soil erosion. Mulching is also known as seed composting. Benefits of applying mulch film and mats. Mulching is playing important role which can be described as conservation of soil moisture because there will be control of evaporation because it is not directly exposed to the sunlight. So there will be moisture conservation. There will be improvement in soil fertility and health of the soil. There will be control of wheat growth and it will minimize the crop and wheat competition. There will be retaining of moisture for longer period, improvement in soil condition and it will prevent soil erosion also. Mulching repels insects. So in other way it is controlling the multiplication of insects. There will be increase in yield because we are maintaining the moisture for longer period and application of fertilizer in along with irrigation water. And then there will be less loss to the fertilizer. Because of mulching, it has been reported there will be early crop harvesting. And it will enhance the visual appeal of the area also. And mulching keeps the roots and bulbs of the crop cool in summer season and warm the winter, which is meeting the requirement of the crop. And mulching also prevent frost heaving in winter season. So these are the various benefits of mulching. Now types of mulching. Mulching are of two types. First one is organic mulching and second non-organic which is also known as plastic mulching or inorganic mulching or synthetic mulching. In case of organic mulching, there is use of organic materials such as byproducts or crop residue of the crops grown in the field. Organic mulches also help to improve the soil structure, drainage and nutrient holding capacity and water holding capacity of the soil and after decomposition it is improving the nutritive value of the soil and physical soil conditions. In case of non-organic mulching generally we are using plastic mulch seeds. There are various types of organic mulching where grass clipping, bark, shredded and chipped materials are used, straws are used, sugar cane trace is used, there will be use of shredded leaves, pine needles, newspaper etc. So these are the organic materials which are getting decomposed and we have to change the mulching after a certain period and after decomposition it is adding the nutrients to the soil, improving the soil conditions and fertility. Here we will go through details about organic mulching. An organic mulching is consist of natural substances like bark, wood chips, pine needles, dry grasses, 
పెడ్ ఎక్స్ట్రా షుగర్ కెన్ ట్రేస్ డ్రై లీవ్స్ స్రెడెడ్ లీవ్స్ సాడస్ట్ డస్ట్ అండ్ గ్రాస్ క్లిప్పింగ్ ఎక్సెట్రా ఆర్గానిక్ మల్చింగ్ ఇస్ ప్లేయింగ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ రోల్ ఇన్ ఇంప్రూవింగ్ సోయిల్ కండిషన్స్ బికాస్ దే ఆర్ గెట్టింగ్ స్లోలీ డికంపోజ్ బై విచ్ దే విల్ ఏడ్ ఆర్గానిక్ మెటర్ టు ద సోయిల్ విచ్ హెల్ప్స్ టు కీప్ ద సోయిల్ లూజ్ ఆర్గానిక్ మెటర్ బికమ్స్ సోర్స్ ఫర్ ద బెనిఫిషియల్ అర్త్ ఫార్మ్స్ అండ్ అదర్ సోయిల్ మైక్రో ఆర్గానిజమ్స్ ఇన్ ద సోయిల్ అండ్ ఇట్ క్రియేట్స్ ఏ పోరోసిటీ ఇన్ సోయిల్ వెరీ గుడ్ పోరస్ సోయిల్ విచ్ ఈజ్ బెనిఫిషియల్ ఫర్ ద క్రాప్ గ్రోత్ అండ్ రూట్ గ్రోత్ ఆర్గానిక్ మల్చ్ ఇంప్రూవ్స్ రూట్ గ్రోత్ ఇన్క్రీజ్ ఇన్ ద ఫిల్ ఫిల్టర్సన్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ఇంప్రూవ్స్ ద వాటర్ హోల్డింగ్ కెపాసిటీ వాటర్ రిటెన్షన్ కెపాసిటీ ఆఫ్ ద సోయిల్ ఫర్ లాంగర్ పీరియడ్ decaying organic matter also serves as a source of plant nutrients and it will also maintain the soil temperature organic mulch where the organic mulch also in attracts insects slugs and the cutworms that eat them so we have to take the precautionary measures time to time and it should be replaced organic matter gets decomposed easily and so there will be need for frequent replacement of the mulch material now inorganic or synthetic mulch synthetic mulch are synthesized materials and it needs prior work before used in the field these are easily available and easy to handle and easy to transport and its usage like example using plastic films the inorganic materials like plastic films are used and these are known as synthetic mulches or inorganic mulches natural degradation of organic mulches creates the necessity for the application of synthetic mulches so they are also known as non degradable mulches synthetic mulches are available in different colors as well as in different thickness and they should be removed and disposed of at the end of the growing season and these mulches are more expensive as compared to organic mulches these days certain plastic sheets are coming which are degradable and it will help in improving the soil condition and replacement of the non degradable mulch sheets there are various type of synthetic and inorganic mulches like plastic sheets landscape fabric and stone and gravels are also used synthetic and inorganic mulches do a good job of holding moisture and blocking weeds weeds growth and minimizing the crop weed competition they don't add any nutrients to the soil but they don't decompose quickly or require replacing as often as organic mulches however as plastic decomposes it's detrimental to the soil and the environment likewise landscape fabric allows weeds throw as it decomposes after a few years here to study about mulching sheets mulch films or mulching sheets are made of a material that is thick enough to stop water loss from the soil while getting proper aeration and needed sunlight into the soil mulch sheets use pigments to be stable on exposure to high solar radiation mulch sheets require proper light and thermal stabilizers and some level of chemical resistance so that they can be used to modify soil temperature limit weed growth prevent soil moisture loss and improve precocity precocity means early development of the crop now types of mulching sheet there are various types of mulching sheets used like plastic mulch black white silver and transparent films are generally used for mulching advancement of plastic chemistry has resulted in development of films with optical properties that are ideal for a specific crop in a given location as per suitability this plastic mulch are of two types like photodegradable plastic mulch which gets destroyed by sunlight in a shorter period and second biodegradable plastic mulch this type of plastic mulch film is easily degraded 
in the soil over a period of time. In case of horticultural crops, the black plastic film, reflective silver film and transparent films are used where black plastic films helps in conserving moisture, controlling wheat and reducing outgoing radiation. In case of reflective silver film, it maintains the root zone temperature cooler. In case of transparent film, it increases the soil temperature and prefer preferably used for solarization purpose. Now selection of mulching seeds. It depends on various factors like area where it is used, durability, color and biodegradability. As area factor is concerned, mulching seeds are used for growing food and vegetable crops over extensive areas and therefore need to be extensible according to the area of the field and acre of coverage. As durability factor is concerned, mulch films need to protect against solar radiations, agrochemicals, chemical pesticides and therefore durability plays important role to choose good mulch films. Third is color. The color of the mulch films improves the properties of mulching for some applications. Therefore, depending on the crop and farming requirements, mulch films can be chosen and the color varies from black, silver or transparent and depending on the requirement, it is chosen. Now next factor is biodegradability. If mulch seeds are bio-based and completely biodegradable, it can be easy for farmers to plow direct after harvest of the, of the crop and there is no need to spend money, time or labor collecting the mulch films from the fields after every harvest. If not, the mulch seeds should be reusable or recyclable. Limitations of mulches. Along with benefits, there are some limitations, drawbacks of using mulching. Like in mulching, there will be greater initial cost and it is labor intensive job. Mulches can keep the soil too moist, restricting oxygen in the root zone on poor drained soils. So, in case of mulching, we have to control the irrigation supply as per the situation and requirement of the crop. If mulch is applied close or in contact with the stem, the trapped moisture creates an environment conductive to development of disease and pests. So, in case of mulching, because of covering of the soils and humid conditions and high moisture, there may be development of disease and pests. Many organic type of mulches also encourage and provide refuge or breeding locations for snails, slugs, mice, etc., which may damage and attack the plants and crops. Certain types of mulches are there like hedge and extra, which contains seed that may become weeds for the next crop. So these are the some limitations of using mulching. So this presentation was all about mulching. Hope this will be useful to all of you. Thank you very much. I have given here my YouTube channel details. Journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Having request, please visit the channel, subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback. Thank you.